Hi guys, today we're having a look at the, or some of, the new hair care range from Beauty Bay. So I bought a set that's got the um, Strengthen and Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner and the Repair and Strengthen Hair Mask. So I'm going to quickly run through kind of the range that they have. So they've got some like serums as well. Um, there's like a hair density serum, a smoothing and shining serum, repairing hair oil, calming scalp tonic. Uh, they've also got a ultra hydrating mask, a curl defining mask. The um, trying to think everything together now. So the strengthen and hydrate conditioner. They're seven pounds fifty each if you buy them separately, and you get two hundred and fifty mils. And then the repair and strengthen mask is eight pound fifty on its own, and you get two hundred mils. Um, these are all marked as oh, are they? Yes, yeah, so they're all marked as vegan and cruelty free, which is great. The set that I got is twenty three pounds fifty. Point when I bought it, it was on offer, so it was seventeen pounds sixty, which is great. And there's there's five, six sets um, to kind of choose from. But anyway, so a bit strange, a bit unusual um, that the instructions for this particular mask is to apply to damp hair, midlines and ends, leave for 10 to 20 minutes or overnight, and then rinse and shampoo and condition as normal. I wouldn't normally use a mask before shampooing. I would normally use it in place of my conditioner. But, you know, I'm trying this whole reading the instructions thing. Um, scent wise, these are pleasant but it's definitely like a, a salon-y scent. You know sometimes when you walk into the hairdressers and there's just scent and it's, it doesn't, you, you can't say what it is, you can't say oh that's floral, oh that's fruity, oh that's vanilla or whatever, it's just there's a strong scent in the air. That's what I got off of these. Um, yeah, so I've got a little quick before and after section, so let's have a look. Right, so we're just going to see what my hair is like before I go and use all the products. Um, I will say my hair is doing much better just now. One, I've been testing a lot of hair products. Two, I've been using one of those brushes that causes less breakage. And three, I've been getting it trimmed more regularly. But we'll see if this is going to join the lineup of nice hair products. So look, it actually sits relatively smoothly if I finger comb it through. This is like the, I washed it on Saturday, this is Tuesday. So it's had a bit of time. Um, so you know, there's some little bits on there. So yeah, I'm going to go wash my hair. We'll see how it feels, how easy it is to brush through when I'm back. Right, so I'm back. I've done all the steps. I smell like I've been in a salon. Um, so... Okay, not the easiest brush through afterwards, to be fair. But then I, I still feel weird about that mask first, then shampoo. I feel like you're stripping away some of the benefit of the mask. But I mean, the tugs are coming out, it's just that they're not as easy as with other masks that I've used last. Um, But the people who invented this should know better than me, so we'll go with that. I'm going to pop some heat spray in it and go blow dry it, and we'll be back to see how it looks. Right, we're back. I'm just going to do a quick check in, partly because I'm tired, partly because I'm getting a bit hiccupy. So bear with me. Um, right, so um, we're looking very shiny, I have to say. Um, looking very nice and smooth. Um, I think I'm going to sleep on this. Obviously I'm going to sleep on it. Um, and then see how it looks, because sometimes... I want to see how the re results kind of last, you know? Um, so the under layer of my hair is always kind of wavy. Um, ignore that. But it does feel quite thick. Um, which is interesting. So... Yeah, it, it, it genuinely feels thicker um, than before. Um, bundling up in a ponytail, 
it feels thicker than usual. So that's interesting. Um, having a look at the ends, which I kind of looked at before, um, they're looking a little bit more lined up. Um, not quite as curvy, but that could be more because I've blow dried it. But yeah, we'll see how it looks in the morning. So it is now the next day. Um, my hair is still shiny. I will say though, I feel like my colours faded quite a bit more than I normally notice. Um, it's not really showing up on camera. Um, but obviously these aren't marketed as being colour care. Um, and I just wanted to like, flag that. Um, I've not seen any colour care as I've flicked through the website. Um, in terms of shampoo and conditioner, it is just the strengthen and hydrate uh, that they have at the moment. They'll probably expand because Beauty Bay keeps on and on expanding their ranges. Um, but yeah, I do think these are really nice products. My hair does still feel kind of thicker um, than it did than it does normally. What I will say though is that bundles are usually a really good way to buy things. Um, these are marked that it's 25% off the bundle. Um, I'm not sure whether they just mean that it's a 25% saving on buying them separately because like I said the shampoo and the conditioner are $7.50 each which is £15 and then $8.50 for the conditioner would be £23.50 um, and for this particular kit, they've marked it as twenty three fifty, then twenty five percent off seventeen sixty. So, yeah, it's it's a bit strange. If they're ever not showing us twenty five percent off, um, maybe double check. So if there's any item that you're not sure you're going to use much, you're probably going to be as well buying them separately. Um, but overall, they're nice products. I usually buy really cheap hair stuff. Should probably stop doing that. Um, I will use these again but it's not going to be my regular one because I think it is going to strip my colour pretty badly. Um, but you know, times when I know that I'm going to be doing my colour the next time I wash my hair anyway, might as well use them and pamper it a little bit. So, overall, I'm saying that these are a good buy. Just be careful about how the pricing on the um, bundles is showing there. So, if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.